hard to relive all of this. Jamie was afraid to leave her room. Her room seemed to be the one place where she felt she had a barrier. She was wrong. This pounding started on my bedroom door. It was so loud. I was actually frozen in fear. <laughs> It just eventually got to the point where I had to go look in the hallway. Right before I opened the door, it would stop. It's like it knew that I was coming to open the door. And I would close the door, and it would start again. It went on for approximately three hours. Ah! That pounding was <laughs> horrific. Terrible. Eventually, the pounding stopped. When I opened the door, there was just a giant hole. <laughs> It looked like a battering ram hit the door. And the doorknob was bent. <laughs> Everything was utilized by this thing to pound on that door. The light in the bathroom started going on and off. I figured something must be in there. Whatever it was, it was trying to get in my room. There was no way to lock the door. The bathroom door didn't have the doorknob on it. I decided to take this kite string that we had and wrapped it through the hole in the door. I figured if I have the other end of the string, this thing cannot open the door. I started feeling it pulling on the string. As soon as she tightened up on the rope, it tugged at the door. Ah! Stop it! <laughs> I was freaking out because I figured that once that door opened, I was going to see something from my nightmares, some demon I was going to come at me. I just held on to the string and figured that if it couldn't break the string, that it couldn't open the door. It cut the rope. Figured it out. It cut the rope. She was scared out of her wits. I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming into the room. I knew that there was nothing I could do to stop it. 